Yeah, alright, alright, alright. You was right, I was wrong. Yeah, I should've never ever took her home. Yeah, I should've just blown. Yeah, fantasy on my phone. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial. Um, recently I have been wearing this look all the time and I have just loved it. Gotten so many compliments on it so I was like, well why not film a video since I have to film a couple videos today anyway. So I went ahead and did this makeup tutorial for you using the Lorac palette. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to thumbs up and also make sure to hit that subscribe button because it's 110% free. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Alright, so the first thing we're going to be doing is applying tape to the ends of my eyes so that way I'll have a really precise line when I'm doing my makeup. And now I'm applying a primer to my face so that way I have really smooth skin and I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Primer Potion and applying that to both of my eyes so then that way I can have really good and like bright colors and then that way it'll also stay on all day. So the first thing that I'm going to be taking is my Lorac Mega Pro Palette um, and I'm just going to be taking the color Tangerine and I'm going to be applying that in the outer creases of my eye just so I can have a really pretty color and then I'm also going to blend that out and just make sure to blend 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 and I'm also going to blend up and I'm also going to blend in towards the inner corner of my eye but not too much. So the next color that I'm taking is the color Penny and I'm just going to apply that onto my lids and I'm also going to kind of make sure that I really pack that color on so that way it is not like dull or anything like that because I really want it to be vibrant and I want it to stick out a lot. The next color I'm taking is the color Saddle and I'm just going to applying that on top of the tangerine in the outer corner just to add a little bit more like dramatic effect to it just because I felt like it was missing something so I went ahead and added that onto both of my eyes so that way it would just be better so now I'm taking the tape off my eyes and it gives me a really clean cut and that was really creepy um, but the next thing I'm going to be taking is my naked foundation and I'm just going to be dotting that on my face and then the brush that I'm using is just a blending brush from e.l.f. It was like a $3 brush and it works like a charm. The next thing I'm taking is this Maybelline foundation stick, but I use it as a concealer because it's a really thick foundation. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out underneath my eyes with the same um, blending brush from e.l.f. And then I'm going to be taking my Laura Geller Balance and Brighten, and this is a powder that you put on your face. And I love it because it has all these different colors in there, so it looks really good with all skin tones. I'm just going to be putting that all over my face just to make sure that my skin's not oily or that I didn't miss any spots and that way my skin will look super airbrushed and super like just awesome <laughs> and so now I'm taking the NARS blush in the color orgasm and this is such a pretty color um, I didn't really put a lot of this on my face so it's not really going to show up so I went ahead and put champagne pop highlighter on and I did kind of go a little overboard with it I <laughs> kind of just put too much on the brush but I kind of blended out throughout the day so it did look a little less clustered on my face but it is a really pretty highlight and I think it looks really good on all skin tones I'm then taking my Master Duo by Eye Studio and applying that liquid liner onto my eyes. Alright, so the next thing that I'm doing is taking my Sephora mascara and that is my finished look so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye